welcome back to my youtube channel for the new subscribers my name is liz reynolds and today tunaongelea mambo ingine very serious the reason why ladies are cheating direct to the point the reason why ladies are cheating in relationships hii nayo ni kitu hiko eh wanaume kujeni huku kila mwanaume achukue kiti akuje akae cause these things ni real ni real nawaambia ile i'm speaking on behalf of ladies cause hii ni kitu inafanyika okay so let's do this so reason number one. ukipata mwanamke wako unakuja kushangaa aki huyu mwanamke nimempea kila kitu ameenda nje ya ndoa eh? angalia kama uwe una muigno hmm? ladies hawapendi kukua ignored ama kuassume ati amekuita akwambie kitu uko like ai ama ama hata usikizi hata hutaki kusikia na amekuita akwambie nini sisi tunapenda kusikizwa hmm? kindly make sure I will assume you are lady. Wanaume na wasaidia. Ati si wale mnakujanga kusema eh ati huyu mwanamke wangu nimekuwa nikimpea kila kitu then you pay attention. Hmm? Attention ni kila kitu kwa the lady kwa uh, you are lady. Hmm? Kila mwanamke anapenda attention. Lakini ile siku uta utakuja kuona ati wewe ma, mambo yako ni kutafuta pesa huko ukiletanga unajua kulipa rent unadhani hiyo ndio kuweka mwanamke. You are very wrong. I'm talking on behalf of ladies. So kindly listen and uh, don't assume your wife. Msikize. Na hata kama kitu anakuambia uoni kama ita, ita work. Wewe msikize kwanza aone umemmsikiza. Then sit down umwambie hapa na hapa sioni itawezekana sababu ya hivi na hivi. Hata wewe umpe chance ya kuleta view yake kwa hiyo. Unaona sasa mkiongea mkidiscuss ataona umechukua hii kitu na umeanalyze vizuri. Lakini ile siku utasema sasa hizi ni gani unaniambia? Unamwigno. Kesho yake ndio utakuja kupata alienda kuambia mashida zake pasta kwa sababu wewe akikwambianga auski. Eh? You don't listen to her. Anaenda anaenda unampata una na neighbor ama caretaker wa kwenye mnaishi. Kwa sababu yeye akimwambia aki kitu ana anamsikiza. Wewe bwanake haumsikizangi. So that's reason number one. Reason number two, hmm? just know that ladies wanaitaji kukua, kuonyesho upendo na your presence. Eh? Si mambo ya kuamuka, saa zote ni pesa tu inaring kwa akili yako, ati ku, kubeba familia ni kuprovide. Eh? Forgetting that you need to show this lady love, kwa sababu labda hata ulimtua kwenye mali kwao kuna pesa. Chenye alikuja wako kutafuta si pesa. I'm talking about the ladies wenye ni wife material sama wenye wako na good morals sababu nao tisiongelee gold diggers gold diggers wako hapo sababu ya money you are money na hata anaweza jua tu wewe enda niletee pesa nitakula na watu wengine hmm? lakini a wife material ama a lady with good morals kama you are girlfriend amjawana bado you are in a relationship make sure your presence uko uko kwa maisha yake like Every time you are you are there. Usikuje kusema, yani huyu hata nampeanga 100,000 eh, ya ya upkeep yake sijui nini, eh? It's not all about money. Kwanza on my side, kwanza kwangu, wacha nijiongee sasa. Mie uki ukidhani ati pesa yako ndio itanikalisha kwako. Hm? Hii umejidanganya kabisa. So, it's not all about money tumejua hivyo. Hiyo you have love and presence very important. Usipate amekutoka nje kule aende kutafuta hiyo love akiaje hizo pesa kwako. Hiyo ni kitu wanaume wengi hawajui. Wanadhani tuko 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 kwa ndoa sababu ya pesa. Hmm? Number three. Hmm? You need to support your woman. Be supportive yani. Usikue yule mtu kidogo tu pale nje ati hata bibi yako uwezi mtetea kwa chochote. Eh? Umepata labda kitu imemwendea vibaya usaid na yeye. Example ingine ni ile unapatanga kwa familia bibi yako labda kuna one, two, three relatives hawampendi. Then unasaid na wao badala ya bibi yako. 
kama kuna kitu ufurahisha mwanamke ni ukikuja u, upate hata eh, kama nachukiwa pale bwanangu amesimama na mimi yani hivyo tunasikianga hmm? angalau bwanangu hata unampea cheo ingine iko juu sababu anajua kusimama na, na mwanamke wake so kindly be supportive ile kitu ingine mtu anaweza dhani ati ni jokes hmm? kama wewe ni that, that's number 4 kama wewe ni mwanaume and mme, mko kwa ndoa mmepata watoto penda watoto wa wenu eh? the lady the mom ya watoto anasikianga vizuri sana akiona upendo ndani katikati yako na watoto kuna hao wanaume mnazaa watoto vizuri then unaanza ku neglect tu watoto unawaachanisha na mama yao we eh? au shughuliki watoto hiyo kitu uuma mwanamke na anaweza toka kwako aendee mtu mwingine sababu ya hiyo so kindly hiyo ni added advantage kama mna watoto make sure umeonyesha watoto upendo mingi mwanamke wako atakuwa very comfortable cause anajua uko responsible na you are you care about them yeye na watoto wenu yeah so usipende tu bibi na uanze kuchukia mtoto hata mtoto akikuja unajua watoto kuda vile wana grow wanakuja wana change kama wewe ni baba hata kama mtoto wenu simameni na yeye mkiwa wili usimwachie mama hmm? apo bibi yako atakaa na wewe cause mna supportiana kila kila mahali the other one hmm? watu wale watu wa violence sasa kama wewe unachapanga bibi yako hata yenyewe ushaiona watu ukaa eh? watu ukaa tu kwa ndoa mabibi ukaa kwa ndoa sababu ya watoto eh? just for the sake sababu ya watoto tu nakaa hapa na chapo kila siku lakini sababu ya watoto nataka tu kuwe na baba yao ama labda huu una provide school fees ako tu hapo it's not a happy wife ako tu sababu cause hakuna mwanamke anaweza kupenda kama umeingiza violence hata kama anakudanganya ana, ako na wewe kesho amelia leo usiku ako na wewe kesho forget about that siku moja utakuja upate ameamka na umpate na mtu mwingine kule hmm? so kindly wale wa violence hata hata sijui hata mwanamke unamchapa hawezi kukufeel like ni ile anaamka asubuhi anaona ai kwani leo uendi mahali anataka tu uende tension kwa nyumba hata watoto wanakuogopa hmm? So unapata mwanamke wako akapata chance nyingine pale ya mtu peaceful ataenda tu na yeye. So kindly wale wa violence watu walitoka huko kitambo. Sijui nasikianga watu wa kitambo ndio walikuwa wanachapwa. Kitambo wacha ishie huko kitambo. Saa hii sio ni mtu unatoa mtu ako na meno 32 ukuje kumchapa kama mtoto. Hmm? Kindly watu wa violence mjue bibi yako akipatana na mtu peaceful utajipata umeacho peke yako. Hmm? Then the other one, ushaiona wale kuna vile unaweza treat mwanamke vibaya, for example hao 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 watu wa kuchapana ile nimeongelea hapo juu. Unapata ana wish ukufe. Ushaiona mwanamke ana wish huyu baba wa watoto si akufe tu atuachie amani. Yaani wewe aunanga amani, eh? Yeah? Mali ume umefika tu kuna amani hata watoto ukifika na walikuwa wanacheza wanaacha kucheza, hmm? wanaenda wanakaa chini mahali wamejikunja kwa sababu wewe ni violent. Alafu enda uongezwe kukunywa sasa. Ushaiona wale ni violent na wanaongeza kukunywa. Hmm? Wale wa pombe. So unapata hiyo boma ina amani. Hmm? Unapata watu mtu mtu anaweza wish tu this person wacha akufe tu hata anaweza imba wimbo wa sifa kwa mazishi yako. Hmm? Make sure make sure hata ile siku ya mwisho pale kaburini. Eh? Kama ni wewe utaenda mbele yao watalia wata sababu yako wali yani na waongee mazuri si kuda, kuenda kudanganya kwa mazishi hmm? but ulikuwa mzuri na ulikuwa unawachapa kila siku so peace na hapo tukingongezea hapo kwa peace eh? the moment umepea do you know wanaume kuna kitu ya mjui what you give to us is what you get back multiplied hmm? Ina, yani kama umetupea amani amani utaipatanga kwa nyumba utafikanga kwa mlango ukipata that house iko na amani nyingine yani una, una wish utoke kwenye unatoka uingie kwa nyumba yako sababu kuna amani lakini ukishaleta kisirani utapata nanga na kisirani tu kwa nyumba so what you give to us is what you get back ni hivyo ndio ujue yani jaribu kukua mzuri tu eh? 
amwezi kosa kukosana pa, hapa na pale lakini siku ile ya kila siku hadi mtu anaboweka na na wewe na hiyo hiyo inafaa kwenda both sides yani watu wabebane vizuri bwanako na yeye asikubebe vizuri na wewe umbebe vibaya so lakini what i know if you treat your woman well cuz shida huanzia pale ukimtreat vizuri wewe jua hiyo boma hata kuna baraka zingine zinamwagikanga kwa hiyo boma eh? kwa sababu the moment your wife is happy ataenda hata at, at, kama aombangi utamuonanga tu akizurura kwa nyumba akiimba nyimbo za sifa anaenda time yenye umetoka kwa nyumba ana, anataka tu urudi kwa amani so anaenda anapiga magoti anakuombea mazuri jioni unakuja eh? kama unatengenezanga 20000 jioni unakuja na 50000 Na wewe unadhani tu eh hey, Mungu amenibariki kumbe ni ile maombi ya bibi yako unambeba vizuri na yeye anakuombea mazuri. Si yule anasema haki huyu si agongo na gari huko asifike leo. Hmm? Kwa sababu anakuja kunichapa. Unaona? Yeah. So ukitreat mtu vizuri, your wife vizuri, leo wacha tuongelee, tunaongelea hiyo peke yake sitaki kusaidi saidi nyingine kwa sababu ile topic ya leo ni ya why ladies are cheating. So ukimtreat vizuri kila kitu itakuwa sawa maombi yake itakusaidia hata kuombea hata kama si kuomba hata kunenea ma, maneno mazuri ukae na amani lakini pia mdomo ya bibi yako inaweza kukaa si uendange tu ukigongwa na, na mawe huko kwa barabara yani upatana nange na visirani kwenye unatembea sababu ya umekasirisha mtu kwa nyumba ama umekasirisha mtu mali mmeachania aende job kwake na yeye ya, kwake so amani very important so ile ingine Kuna kitu ingine nataka kuongelelea ile siku utawahi kuja kuona bibi yako ameacha kushughulika na wewe like ameamua sasa hata ukifanya nini just do your things ameachana na wewe na number 1 jijazie upendo imeisha umemtesa hadi yani umemfa, umemfanya akasiriki hadi mwisho hadi ameachana na amekurilize unaona ameachana na wewe hapo juu upendo ime, imeisha so unless sasa uji uji collect tena ujue vile utairudisha cause ukishaona ushaiona hadi eh ile bibi yako hata anaweza toka nje tu akutana na wewe ukiwa na mwanamke mwingine pale nje na ukikuja hata hata kuuliza jua that cause the normal the normal thing inafaa kuwa atakuwa jealous mbona ulikuwa una una hug mtu mwingine ama una Una bibi fani na msichana mwingine anafaa kukuuliza ndio ajue relationship yako na huyo mtu ni gani. Lakini ukiona hata upatana na yeye ama akuja kupata tu kwa nyumba na mtu, na yeye ashughulike tu. Na utawaiona akikasirika, yeye ashatoa akili kwako. Lakini jua ashapata mtu mwingine mahali mwenye already loved uh, watu wengine wanakuja wanapata, wanapata kumbe mabibi zao wamepanga kwenda ngambo. Washa plan vitu na, na wazungu. Mtu ashachukua passport Asha amua kwenda. Hmm? Akakaange na mzungu. Na wewe ujui. Sababu ulimfanyia mambo. Yani, akakuchoka na wewe na akazimua sawa. Nitaishi tu hapa kwako, lakini ya Niko na seke, nini. Niko na plan ingine. Niko na plan B. Niko tu hapa kwako, nikae. Then, hiyo time ikifika, nitakuacha tu hivu. Nona? So, treat. Then, hile ingine. Make sure, unajua kila siku. Every day. Make sure unajua situation nyenye you are, you are lady yuko kama ako sawa if everything is okay na wanaume unajua ni sawa ni vizuri kukuwa gentleman lakini unaona hii gentleman ya kusema ati siwezi shika simu ya bibi yangu eh hizi vitu nimeona zimetenda watu ni sawa amekuachia freedom then unakuja kushtukia Mtu asha plan stories zingine hata mwingine plan wedding. Na kwa nyumba yako ana chatingi tu kwa hiyo simu yenye uwezi shika. Wana plan wedding na uko na kwa nyumba. Ati ama gentleman siwezi shika simu ya. Hmm? Na maybe the reason unasema hivyo labda unasema hivyo ndio asishike yako sababu hata wewe uko zako. Unaona? Lakini kama kama unapenda bibi yako. Eh? Ni vizuri umuulize mbona unakataa na simu nikishika na and we are we are one. Unafaa kuwa concerned. Kuwa, yani, don't assume issues, things. Hmm? Don't assume. So, hapo kwa asimu, nimeona iki, ok, nyinyi kaeni vile muna kaanga, na vile muli agree, lakini, if I can warn men. Hii mambo ya kusema, ati siyezi angalia simu ya bibi. Hii mambo ya kusema, simu yangu, kama buwana wanyumba, isi angaliwe. Hizi vitu zinaleta shida. Uta, utapata watu waliowana, wakafanya arusi, siku umeamuka, ukaenda job, kumbe mtu ya shaolewa, arusi ya pili kukikuingine. 
na uko hapo hujaijua in the name of your gentleman the last point hii ina favor wanaume wanaume sijui hii mtaichukulia aje ama ladies mtaichukulia aje but i'm helping sababu ya vitu nimeona ukipenda msichana uja mtolea mahari uja uja muoa eh hakuna kitu anything official mmefanya kindly wacha kwenda uki, ukikuwa generous sana Umesha muuliza sista kwa hajaenda shule wacha nilipe 300,000 aende shule eh huyu huyu mwenye uko naye mwenyewe uja uja muoa na ushaanza kujenga nyumba kwao eh hmm? ushaanza kusomesha wadogo wake ushaanza kumsomesha yeye mwenyewe na, na ujapewa yeye na wazazi mimi mimi ni, nime nime witness mtu najua ameshailipiwa shule yote yote na vile alikuja kumaliza hivi campus akaolewa na mtu mwingine amesomeshwa na mwanaume then vile alimaliza hivi campus akafanya akafanya harusi ndio uwezi kuja kumtoa hapo akafanya harusi lakini do you know that man that gentleman angemfanyia kitu kwa sababu nilikuforce unisomeshe mm -mm. wewe uliamua tu you are generous kuja usomeshe mtu na hujapewa na, na wazazi ama mjaenda to an agreement ya ya hata wacha mambo ya agreement kindly owa mtu hmm? Oa, kwanza akue wako. Then start from there. Ndio in case hata kitu ikuje kufanyika pale mbele, we mwenyewe unajua alikuwa wangu that time. That's why I did this. Lakini ile unasomesha mtu, then after one year, eh, kumaliza shule, unasikia kuna harusi na mtu mwingine. Sasa hiyo umetoa millions of money kumsomesha ama maybe thousands of cash, hundred thousands of cash. Eh? Hiyo wanaume, don't be too generous. Mi hapo nimewasaidia. Kindly kaa na mtu oa kaa kaa na yeye kama unataka sasa kuanza kusaidia pole pole ukitumia akili eh? usipende mtu na roho yako yote kumbe hata yeye mwenyewe hata akupendi you know wanawake ni wenye tu naweza kaa na wao lakini hawakupendi na utajua utadhani ngi mapenzi iko na hakuna ladies wameumbo hivyo anaweza unaweza dhani anakupenda akupendi hmm? just because anataka hiyo pesa yako una, unatuma ya sister yake ama brother yake yako shule hivyo tu Then ukimaliza hiyo hiyo project ndio atakuonyesha the true colors. So kindly wanaume. Mambo ya mambo ya ati kuedukate watu ati kuwekea watu biashara na mjawaoa ama mja uh, mjafanya the official things. Eh? Yeah? Wachana nayo kabisa. Ati unaanzisha mtu high school ukimsomesha. Eh? Yeah? Hadi campus. Hizo he and the guts. Hizo nazo wachaneni nazo kindly me me that's my view sasa yule mwingine kuna wale unaweza wasomesha ni wazuri lakini nao wameharibiwa na wale wabaya kuna mwenye unaweza somesha na ukuja ukawa na yeye vizuri mseme mmetoana mbali lakini vile kuko saa hii mimi nime witness nimewaambia nime witness mtu amesomeshwa na akakuja kuolewa na mwanaume mwingine mwenye aje itoa shilingi so anakuja kuoa mtu akona degree degree imesomeshwa na mwanaume mwingine haya so kama wewe unataka kuendelea kukuwa generous endelea lakini utafunzwa na ulimwengu <laughs> utafunzwa na ulimwengu so hizo vitu nimesema kindly hmm? and make sure you know the likes and dislikes za you are your wife usizifanyange kama bibi yako apendi ukikuja nyumbani ukiwa mlevi eh wachana na, na pombe hmm? kama apendi yani zile vitu apendi usifanye then zile vitu anapenda jaribu ufa, jaribu yenye unaweza jaribu tu ufanye mingi na kama your wife amekuuliza swali kindly jibu swali hata kama haina miguu chukua miguu weka hmm? weka miguu hivyo tu hivyo ndo wanaume wanasemanga saa zingine tunaulizanga maswali hazina miguu chukua miguu weka mikono weka asiki umemjibu usipuuze unaona <laughs> unacheka <laughs> unacheka So kindly usipuuze maswali. Ukiulizwa leo mbona mbona leo hizi siku zingine unakujanga 6. Kwa nini umekuja 605 leo? Jibu vizuri. Unaona? Jibu vizuri. Actually ukimjibu hata vizuri, aitaendelea from there. Unaona? Lakini ukianza kumuonyesha eh hey. so yani utu tu vitu tudogo tudogo tu kujua kujibu vizuri maswali ndio hiyo nyumba ikae na amani. Kwa sababu ukilipua moto huko aya moto itawaka 
so najua nimeongea na mtu na hizo vitu nimetaja kama umesikiza na umesikia moja ime imekuguza mahali correct the ladies na sisi tusikue gold gas unaona tukue tu wanawake tunaweza treatiwa vizuri kama wame treat to treat vizuri pesa ikiwa na kama haiko tukae tu kama wanawake hivyo ndo unaweza sema so kama umebarikiwa na hiyo let me know hapo kwa comment section ama kama ushaitendwa hapo kwa comment section hapo kwa hiyo namba yangu you can text whatsapp vitu kama hizo so kindly subscribe like share comment click on the notification bell and see you on the next one bye bye